We may be different colors, different backgrounds, but at the, at the end of the day, we are one people. In the mission statement of Allah, You bring pleasure. So let's try to do these things. It's not about talk and I'll finish my talk here. It's more about action. What are we going to do today? different than we've done yesterday how positive are we gonna be to in our family with our friends with our society with our community with our world and when you do things random acts of kindness the, the hadith of the Bukhari the man was gave the, a dog a dog in the desert that was lost the man went and gave him some water because he went all the way and he struggled to get the water for a thirsty dog Allah forgave his sins and let him enter Jannah paradise random acts of kindness that's what Islam wants us to do and when people ask you when you're doing these good things to Muslims and non-Muslims you're always good when they ask you why are you doing this telling them, tell them because you follow the message of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You say Rauf Rahim. Ya yeah, Allah says about the Prophet Rauf Rahim. An Nabiul Aadam Raufun Rahim. We have to understand one thing that the Muslim Ummah is protected from shirk. If you're a Muslim, you're not mushrik by default, by definition. And therefore, if you open up in Bukhari, the first hadith, Sahih al Bukhari, authentic hadith, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he talks about the people who migrate, you know, the people who leave one clan to another land, he who, or he who migrates for a woman, then that's what he gets. He who migrates for the money, then that's what he gets. And then on Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, look at this. He says, Woman kanat hijratuhu ilallahi wa rasulih who migrates for Allah and uh -huh, his Rasul yani from the beginning your niya the niya in your heart why didn't he say you migrate for Allah why does it the niya only for Allah isn't that enough like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells his prophet by wahi tell them man kanat hijratuhu whom his hijrah is for not only Allah and for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fahijratuhu ila ma hajara ilayh then the reward is based to, for on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will give you from his fadl as well ila Allahi wa Rasulih does the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teach shirk so why would he then tell you that in your heart then when you migrate when you do something make sure the niyyah in your heart is to Allah and his prophet because the testification of faith is not only one side the testification of faith is two sides ashhadu an la ilaha illallah وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّا مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ There is alerting here, alerting for all of us to understand that the only way we knew about Allah is through Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم When we look at the universe, we see مظاهر of رحمة Yani signs of rahmah of Allah everywhere in this universe. You see signs of mercy. Subhanallah. Look at the father figure, for example. Father figure, no matter how tough, and you all have fathers and grandfathers, even in the old school, huh? They, nowadays, they're a little bit soft. Huh? But in the old days, you know, they don't smile usually. Not all of them. Huh? 
There's a hidden mercy behind their, behind their mouth. There's a mercy in them. Regardless what it is, you see the mercy, the signs when, when the child gets sick. When there is a need, you see them hurting. Al-Quran Al-Kareem talks about that. Luqman Al-Hakim, old man, wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, Ya Bunay. Ya Bunay, Sunny. Oh, my beloved son, not my son. Bunay, Tasgheer. You are my beloved son. Look at that. Look at the mother figure, for example. The mother figure, you have so much mercy that when you were little, you might not realize. And that's why I always say the best way for you to realize what your mother went through is to have children. Then you'll know what she's talking about. But then do you see the mother figure and you see the mercy when you were coughing as if she's coughing. When you had fever, she wished that she had the fever instead. When you were not doing well, she stayed up the night while you were sleeping. All these aspects of mercy. Look at that. That even, even in the other things, the creation of Allah, the sun, the sun that we have, that we get the sunlight and we get the temperature. Siraj and Wahaja, Al Quran Al Karim mentions. Huh? Siraj gives light, Wahaj gives heat. Huh? That's what it means. You see the sun, the sign of mercy of Allah and the sun. Yani, what does that mean? If the sun was to like us one mile, was to get close to us one mile, we will all burn. And if the sun was not to like us one mile and go distant away one mile, we will freeze to death. The mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La even in the moon you see that. When you look at the moon, and again if the moon was to get closer a little bit or to get further away a little bit, the tide and the waves and the ocean will change and will destroy the whole world. Therefore Allah says, La shamsu yambaghi laha an al qamar. The sun is not supposed to overcome the moon, nor the moon overcomes the sun, but everything spans their orbit. And so do we. That orbit of mercy, Rahma, that we span. Therefore, you see, the first thing you read from Quran Al-Kareem, what do you first read? Bismillah. Al Azim, Al Qahar, Al Jabbar, Bismillah, Al Rahman, not only Al Rahman, Al Rahim, though both of them, Al Rahman and Al Rahim, in a stem linguistically have the same stem, same origin. They both mean Rahma, but Allah does not say, stop by saying Bismillah Al Rahman, but to make it an emphasized meaning Al Rahim. the aspects of mercy you see them everywhere and therefore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look that life that you have the emotions that you have mercy signs of mercy of Allah <laughs> والروح والريحان يا حامل القرآن